What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. This one, something a little bit different, mostly because I didn't really have a video to put out this week because I've been so freaking under the pump. We've had a lot on. Before we get into this video guys, I'm bringing back the podcast style interviews with a bunch of different people. Starting this week, on Thursday, I'll be dropping a video where I interview Broken Sylvia. He builds freaking insane cars. Uh, R34 GDR replica builds, R32 GDRs. He's just an insane dude. Uh, he's got a lot of knowledge, uh, big following on his YouTube channel and he's based here in Australia. He's got a lot to talk about, so very keen. Can't wait to release that video. And I'll also be releasing those chats on Spotify uh, on something that'll be called The Lake Show. It's just so people can listen while they're on the road to the chats and stuff. It'll work as a podcast as well as a YouTube Live. So very excited about that. Tune in on Thursday to see that. But I'm down here at my friend Waz's workshop and for once I'm helping him with his car instead of him building all my cars which is awesome and I decided to do a build breakdown on a car that I'm literally obsessed with it is so freaking nice and that is Waz's RB25 DET powered FD RX7 You love this thing. Yeah. We're gonna go front to back and we're gonna show you guys everything about this car. As you can see, it's just freaking stunning. From the exterior, the wheel arches you made yourself, the front, sorry, yeah. fenders. Front steel guards. These are steel. And he handmade all of the Extended extension. Them. Is that stock steel guards? Yeah, stock steel guards. With a um, five mil metal rod. All right, and then one mil sheet metal plate. Woohoo! And then of course this car is wrapped in a beautiful pink. Shout out Vincent oh, yeah. for wrapping the car because it, he did such a freaking nice job. Rear over fenders. What brand? eBay. eBay. Yeah, yeah. That's what we love. eBay rear over fenders, side skirts. Uh, eBay. eBay. eBay wing. <laughs> Hell yeah. So this FD, funnily enough, started as obviously a shell like everything else does, but it sat in what was my factory for ages because he was used to be in the, my factory. Over a year, it sat there. Yeah, I remember it. I had it four years before I did anything with it. Here's on screen right now, here's a picture of how it looked when he first started <sighs> compared to this, how it looks now. Obviously running the TSG wheels on the rear. What wheels are on the front? Advan something or other. They are freaking dope. But, should we pop the hood? We shall. Let's have a look. Everything on this car was as done himself, I think, for the most part, fabrication wise. Here's where the magic happens, ladies and gentlemen. So he opted to take out the rotary that was in it. Did he ever have a rotary no, in it? I didn't have one, it was a rolling shell. Oh, there you go. Didn't have a gearbox, it only had a dip, drive shafts, coilovers, it didn't have headlight covers, it didn't have a cluster, it didn't have a dash. Yep. So all the good bits were gone. And I didn't realize how expensive Mazda parts were. Oh my god. So the first two years I spent just collecting, like these are $450 for a pair. <laughs> and they're actually made of plastic and they, the tabs, they get brittle in old age and they blow off in the wind on the highway. So they just disappear, 450 bucks is gone. Yeah. And then, so we've got the RB25. Yeah, Nissan Patrol sump, rear sump, cut the bottom off it, weld it on a wing sump. You guys will see that in the current images showing on the screen right now, underneath the car. To get it low enough. Yep. In the, in the car, so that because I was not going to have anything sticking out of the bonnet because yeah. it looks like junk. It's tight here. Yeah, it's very tight. It actually rubs on the bonnet. 
Oh, yeah, it does. A little bit. Yeah, here and there. Just. And cut into the bonnet. You can see the radiator cap is cut into the bonnet. It's got a wee hole there. Man, this thing is just a... Like, look at the work done on this thing. It's so nice. Everything done in-house by Woz. You got your little tanks? What's yeah, one? What's overflow. This? And the brake booster and clutch. I love how everything's in alloy, so it just looks it like fits in with the engine bay. Yeah. Uh, Bosch Motorsport 89. Drive by wire? Yeah, yeah drive by wire. So good. So we can run anti lag. It runs about six pound of boost, I think. Oh, just always. Off the, uh, there's a switch. <laughs> so good. Switch to, uh, I haven't tested it yet. I tested it once in the street over here and I killed myself nearly. It's loud, yeah. Right. No, it's not loud. It just makes a whooshing sound. It's actually just making boost. Oh, yeah. Wow. So it's not the bang bang one. Oh, yeah. That's, that's not the cool kids one. one. That's the one that wrecks everything. Yeah. Right. Forge motor or forge rods. Uh, forge motor man, max speeding. Yep. You yep. up, max speeding rods. Standard pistons, uh, billet, oil pump gear, N1 oil pump, head drain kit, um, Taku garage, inlet manifold. But I had to get it machined because they're. Great. <laughs> you get what you pay for. Well, that's right. You do. If you're not buying a plasma man, then it's expect to do extra stuff. That's right. Makes how much power? 310 real kilowatts. 310 kilowatt. What turbo? It's a Blitz K3 450R. Old school. Yeah, old school. So she doses. New that. internals or old school? Yeah, I got it rebuilt. Yep. By uh, Hypergear. Beautiful. What what ECU? Still has that. Uh, Haltech. Haltech ECU. Elite 2500. Love it. R35 GDR core packs, 1650cc injectors, runs on EA5. Beautiful. I've got max low control arms and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll start talking about the suspension parts. Ooh. So go again, you start You start with the suspension. I've got max, is the, yep. the low control arm kit, which I got for it. Awesome. I was trying to use the standard stuff, but it wasn't giving me enough track. Yeah. And to run enough lock. Yep. And then I just cut and shut the knuckles myself. Beauty. And uh, the coil levers. Cusco. Uh, he paid beer for. I paid beer for, yeah. Some guy, pre-COVID, some guys like put up box of beers. The RX7 coilovers. No one has FDRX7s, and if you do have one, you're not buying two hundred dollar coilovers off drift sales. Yeah, right. So yeah, he said box of beers. So they work though. Yeah, they seem to work good. I, I love they were blown, but they meant the gate. It's got an uh, old school. Gate, old school gritty gate. You thing sounds awesome. I'll try and find some videos and put them in here amongst it. I'm pretty sure I will find some stuff. Two-way, yep. LSD. Dope. Part shot max arms. Yeah, part shot max upper arms. Got does have toe arms, aftermarket ones. Custom diff mount. Blue ones, yeah. Custom diff mount now because we're running a CDO9 gearbox. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, CDO9. And then you got the. This is super weird. Alloy exhaust. That's so weird. It is weird. I've never seen it. Go karts and motorbikes run alloy exhaust. Yeah, but we're not go karts or motorbikes. We're drift cars. It is. It is funky. It is light. It is. It's so, kilos, sounds good. That sounds alright. The That's, alloy is actually quieter than stainless or titanium. Yep. So I'm gonna put a titanium one on that soon. And so uh, far, no real issues with the car. No real issues. I, I was overfilling it because of the sump I made myself. I didn't know how much oil it. All oh, right. So I just poured it in. Too much. And yeah, it was blowing it out. Yep. How was it to to mount the RV in the car? It's all custom mounts, right? Yeah. Yep. It's all custom. Roll cage done by you. Roll cage by me. Yeah. Oh, look at it. Primarily tower bar. Battery in the back. Nah. It's a Bosch Motorsport fuel pump. Just yep. in tank. Yeah. In tank for life. What, what is that? What does that do when you pull it? That pops the fuel filler. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> That's wicked. 
It's nice and basic, but at the same time, not. Nah. Like, That's what I wanted. I didn't want to have a fuel cell in here. I didn't want to yep. build an ugly firewall. I'm all about keeping stuck fuel tank if you can, 100%. Yeah, and it keeps the weight in the back. Yep. And then inside, woo! Of course, we got that leopard print. Take a couple of pills and just sit here and rub this all night. Mm. So inside was super chill on the interior. Bride seat for the driver's seat, genuine. Velo seat for the passenger. Because we love to mix and match because we're not rich. Yeah. It's nice, dude. Speed tech hydro. Yep. Had to make the custom box to cover the, the tower on top of the CD09. Yep. Stuck up out of the tunnel a little bit. Looks good. We got the um, AccuSump. Oh yeah, well, so this, what does the AccuSump do? It is a poor man's dry sump. It basically is half filled with air and half filled with oil. Yeah. And if the, the pressure on the other side of the oil drops less than the air pressure, it forces it into the engine. Basically it saves, saves you, your motor. If you lose oil pressure. Nice. It also works constantly. So if you're cornering hard and the G-forces pull the oil pressure down, it'll actually push some in and then it'll come back up again once the oil pressure goes back up. So good. So it saves your motor. So it's, it's freaking worth it. It is. Uh, pretty cheap. Little tablet there for your dash. Yeah, I cheaped out there. I've got the Bluetooth thingy. And it's a bit um, budget. So it's just a link cord that plugs into the Haltech, but it won't let me, because it just uses OBD2, it won't let me yep. show oil. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oil pressure. You that need that. Have, so I have to lash out and get the dash yeah, you at do. some point. It's nice though, the whole thing's sick. It's good. And of course, you got your stickers up top for inspiration. Yeah. Just to slap it. Love you always got to slap it. You know. Love the animates. Yeah, hundred percent. This thing's dope. I absolutely love it. What a car. And it's simple, but it works. So far, so good. I've convinced them to drive this car at uh, Battle Royale coming up in two weeks for Keep It Reet, which is going to be really cool. He's not super happy with me about that because it's the pro competition. A lot of people yeah. with very fast cars. That's right. But the MX-5 just wouldn't wouldn't do what this needs. What this does. So. Yeah. Yeah, but man, you've built something that this thing is just such a work of art. If you guys have any questions about it, hit the comments below. But also check out Waz's channel, which is in the link in the description, and you can watch the whole build yourself because he films it all and chucks it up, even though he's rubbish at his descriptions and his thumbnails. But the videos themselves are good, so make sure you check him out because this thing is freaking dope. Also, if you're at an event, don't be afraid to come up to him and ask for a passenger ride because he's very kind and uh, he loves. Anyone? Yeah. That's it, especially if you're an anime girl, then uh, then he'll definitely take you. <laughs> you, this thing is freaking sick. There you go guys, a bit of a build breakdown on one of the freaking nicest cars here in the Victorian drift scene. Bit of a chill one for this weekend, but we've got a, a lot of exciting stuff coming up. I'm just freaking absolutely zonked at the moment with everything that is going on. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Was have, have you got any words to say? Tune in. Yeah. Mike's channel. No, tune into Waz's channel. Nah. You know. I just make sure this guy entertains. Lots of drifting coming out. I'm still deciding on whether we do the AU Falcon build. That is something that you guys are going to have to dictate. Um, I'm thinking maybe we sell the rotary car and then dig into an AU and kind of see where that takes us. Uh, I haven't really been driving the rotary car because the freaking purple car just goes and I love driving it and I just Every time I go to a final event, I'm like, we'll just take the purple car because it's fast and we can get on people's doors and, and all that. Not that the rotary car's not, but uh, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you had an awesome week and weekend. And I'll see you guys in the next video. You Cheers, guys. Peace.